You know what? I think I forgot to get that library card back to Sky. And uh, sorry about your loss of wife. Well, there's nothing left for us to do here in Scuttletown. Are you ready to shove off? Yes. All right, let's do it. Say no more, Risky. I really do miss your hat, but I'm sure we'll get it back in due time. For now, let's head to Saliva Island. That's not gross at all. This is it, Saliva Island. Unless we can find another map, this is the end of the line. I'm ready for anything. Where did you get those clothes? Hello, Deck. There's all kinds of fun stuff to wear. Most of the clothes are much too roomy, though. Stay away from my personal effects! Gosh, I've never been so far from the mainland. It's pretty here. Don't be deceived. The Pirate Master draw power from this place. There's a den of evil hidden somewhere on this island. You're going to find it. What about you? You're not coming? Not this time. But I'm sure if we work together... I said no, and I meant it. I have my reasons. Oh, I see. You're scared. How dare you? I will gut you like a macro. Sheesh, learn to take a joke. And get out of that silly outfit. Aw, you're no fun. Let's go! <laughs> yes, you can't win them all. But the seagulls will always watch me from up there. I see you. Welcome to Saliva Island. You can just barely see Scuttletown behind us. And this creepy looking guy. He's going to spit out these gross looking things at us. And then jump away. Which is very charming. This guy is really annoying to fight. Purely because he just he moves around a whole bunch. He won't sit still. But he does give a bubble shield. Which I find quite nice. Then there's these guys. Can't hurt them, so we just gotta jump across very carefully. And then it's you again. Ugh, so annoying. Speaking of, I haven't- I have yet to use my pike ball. So unlike before, we do not have a magic meter for the pike ball. This lasts only a limited amount of time, but they're still very handy. It's good to see you again, annoying ladies. Ugh, mermaids. Still continue to be quite the bane of every Shantae player's existence. Luckily, these crab guys are very easy to take down. Oops. <laughs> Luckily, these crab guys are very easy to take down with a pike ball. At least I'm pretty sure the pike ball's on a timer. I could be wrong about that. All right, that takes one mermaid down. Then I can slip my way through just like this. As I was always intended to. Oh, dear. Am I even supposed to be on this side? I'm just getting wailed on right now. I'm just gonna keep this pike ball running. Why not? It doesn't really seem like it's having any penalties. Yeah, unfortunately I cannot reach that eye though. Watch out for this annoying mermaid. They have so much health. Oh, there's the pike ball. There we go. Sorry, I could I just didn't know how long it lasted. It lasted way longer than I remember it usually lasting. So I got a little nervous and I was like, uh oh, do I? Am I misremembering? I could have sworn it was like timer based. Regardless, we make our way up here. And it's this little lady again. Remember them? They're so cute. And hey, I got my pike ball back. What do you know? Oh, these darn mermaids always drain my health like crazy. They still have the same two attacks, but they, I think I'm pretty sure you can go over the kiss attack now. Another subtle change that I really appreciate. And even though it's very simplistic, I love the clouds in the background. They're very beautiful. Now from here, we're gonna head over and there's these little statue things kind of lodged in the dirt. Not much that I can do with it right this very second, so we're just gonna keep moving ahead. Hey buddy, let's keep heading on. Oh, hello. Hey girl, cute get up. You here for spring break? Huh? Us too, but look at this lame swimming hole. It's all dried up. Can't sunbathe without a proper pool. Shh, this place was a total ripoff. If we can't swim, we might as well eat. I'll get ham all set up. Where's the manager? Unfortunately, I don't think there's a, any manager here. A pool with no water. Such a shame. I agree with that. That ham does look delicious, though, I gotta admit. Unfortunately for them, I do not know how to help them. But, hmm, I wonder what this statue is here for. Mysteries. That's what they're here for. Many mysteries. Oh, shoot. You know what? I think I forgot to get that library card back to Sky. Oh, man. Okay, next time I miss Scuttletown, I definitely will do it. And for what it's worth, I definitely didn't chew on it either. All right, I gotta take care of these 
two. Wow, she went flying. Not my intention. Got two for two. Not too bad, my, if I gotta say so myself. Although we are starting to get a little bit low on the health department. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Back when I played this game, it was a very long time ago. So my memory of like what to do is kind of spotty. I'll be completely honest right here and now. Also, I think now might be a time for a potion. Let's see, let's see. I guess, ugh. Sure, I guess I can eat a flesh pop. Ugh, gross. But whatever. I think I remember what I need to do. Oh, my auto potion. Shoot, I guess I was about to die there. I am not being careful enough. Kind of mean of them to put mermaids right on the first area outside of Scuttletown. But I guess it's also to further cement the fact that you're not in Scuttletown anymore, kid. You're in the real world where there's mermaids everywhere and cute girls who can't seem to get their pools together. What we need to do is help them with their ham. Really wail into it and get that ham stench. Then we want to capture this in our lamp. You got the ham stink. And then with that ham, we should be able to come here and... Uh, I could be wrong, but this is the part I kind of get stuck on. I forget where I'm supposed to go with this stink. I just know that we do need the ham stink for something. Headed back to the main room now. If we head all the way down and go to this side here that I surprisingly didn't head towards before. Sob, sob. Many years ago, I came to this island with my beloved bride-to-be. Our only wish was to be joined in holy matrimony, but a horrible monster, a servant of the pirate master, found us. His gaze turned my beloved to stone. Ah, <sighs> I can never leave her side. Here, take this ring so I can finally forget my sorrows. You got the ring. Gia looks pretty old. That ring is yours now. Perhaps you should return it to where I first proposed. The mysterious rock between the four lily statues. Ah, oh, okay. Can do. And, uh, sorry about your loss of wife. Alright, made my way back up. There are these four lily statues, as, I, as he said. That's all. There's a circular indentation here. Attach the ring here? Yeah, totally. The ring clicks into place. You gave metal ring. Looks like I was right. These aren't li just any lily statues. These are statues of ladies. And they're rapidly decreasing on me. All right, very quick. I gotta be quick. Okay, this isn't gonna work out the way I was hoping for it to. This one is staying up forever though. Okay, I see what I need to do. I need to do one, two, three, and then four. Jump up quick, jump up quick. Make our way across. There goes one lady. Oh, I don't know if I can make it all the way there, but we made it nonetheless. We made it to the chain, which is the important part. And now we can make it for the rest of the way up. And now it's more of these annoying creatures and they go on the walls in case they weren't annoying enough. We just got to keep wailing on them. Watch out for the pirate flare. Thank you. Oh, gosh, there's a guy in the water. Ugh. These guys are super annoying. OK, but we made our way safely across. Oh. Gotta be more careful about that kind of stuff. At least ideally be more careful. I am just getting nailed in the head. It is not good. Took care of that guy at the very least. Jump our way across, dodging that guy. <laughs> hey, gang. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Okay, back up we go. Okay, I finally made my way back to where I was before, so hopefully I won't fall all the way down again. That would really help, really help. Unfortunately, Bubble does not help when it comes to physical contact, just the projectiles. Still very useful though, and if I'm going to keep getting tons of resources, I might as well use them up. And I also got plenty of meat chunklets and flesh pops, which I'll use. I am definitely not regretting my choice now of upgrading my health before I get here. This place is pretty mean, and I don't know how much longer my bubble shield's going to last me, which is making me a little bit on the nervous side. <gasps> Ooh, th well, there, that's the end of the bubble shield. All right, let's make our way back up and around. Oh, why do I keep forgetting about those dang little, I don't even know what they're called. All right, we're just gonna eat it and just go ahead. <laughs> no, it's just one annoying mermaid as opposed to multiples. Ouch. Still hurts. There's an arrow going this way, so clearly this must be the way to go, right? Doesn't seem like it, unfortunately. And of course you come back. Darn it. 
Dang mer- Jeez! Dang mermaids, maybe I should have tried to save up for an upgrade. I don't know. And then of course the snake just shows up because it can. At least you offer hearts. Ah! It's gonna eat that! And then jump! Dang it! <laughs> oh, the universe hates me. This is like the worst mermaid here. Okay, got it down. There is no secret there, so just keep going. And I guess snakes are just gonna indefinitely fall from up there. And then there's this guy. It's a Giga Lumox. Wow, this thing's enormous. Hmm, what's this sign say? Caution, Giga Lumox may become aroused by travelers smelling of ham. Release the ham stink? Stink it up. Jante releases the ham stink. You gave ham stink. Smells like victory. Ew. Okay, that's one bath I do not want. But we head over here and there's another cackle bat. We'll whack him up really good, just like the ones we did before. He'll do that slam attack and of course I fall for it. Come this way, there we go. Safe from the fall. He's going to blow up for a little bit too long and I'm going to get that dark magic. Sweet. That's the first cackle bat of Saliva Island. Well, maybe not the first first, but the first one I found. And what makes this even better is we can just jump straight down and fall and fall some more until we land as well. Hey girl, you got the water turned on. Let's hit the pool. You said it, girlfriend. Uh, ah, yeah. What's this? My porcelain baby fresh skin is too much for the sun. Mine too, the light's bouncing off. Careful not to cross the beams! <laughs> Gee, thanks. Your hot bods really saved the world. You got the petrify spell. You did it! The pool is full again and it smells like bath salts. The water's really warm and kind of viscous. Uh, I, I want out of the water, but you guys have fun. Lots of fun. That took me an embarrassingly long time to figure out, and I feel a little ashamed of myself. <laughs> Regardless, we should probably head back down and give this guy the petrify spell, shouldn't we? You found something? You gave petrify spell. <gasps> Could it be? You found it, the spell that turned my beloved to stone. At long last, I can finally reverse its effects. Hush, my beloved, whilst I speak the sacred words. Ahem. Petrify! Uh... I did it! Yay! Whoopsies. <laughs> Shantae, you just murdered some people! Well, one person. Welcome to the Spittle Maze. This place is beautiful, if not also probably filled with spit as well. This is not a very charming place to say the least. But luckily there's tons of bosses, so that means there's gotta be health in one of these, at least eventually. And these guys infinitely come out, so you could probably just sit here, mash your whip button endlessly and get tons of money, at least in theory. But we probably should just get going instead. There are these big lobsters. Looks like our little guy has finally grown up. Dang it. Just when I make him the move forward. Okay, okay, we're going, we're going. Nope, there's more of them coming. There's a lot more of them coming. I thought that was gonna be dumb, but no, they're gonna be annoying. Darn it, dang it, ah, uh, no. Okay, 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 I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I want out, I want out, I want out. I do want the money, but I want out. Hey dude, please tell me this heart's here. Yep. Oh, thank goodness. You are always a sure sight for sore eyes. You know that? So now we head into this room, but we got a problem. We do not have a key, and that ground is slowly filling up with those annoying little guys. We'll jump across, get as much as we can, kill you guys, and get our next heart squid. Next time we're in Scuttle Town, remind me to get some more hearts because I always need some more. Never hurts. Never ever hurts. This is kind of unrelated to the subject we have at hand, but you know, 
Sometimes when I start recording, I find myself kind of getting stuck at times. I'm pretty sure this is the key though. Oh, no, no, no. I got the Spittle Maze map. That should come in handy for going through the rest of this area. Sometimes I find myself getting kind of lost at times, like, like when I start recording. I wonder if any of you guys are also people who make content. Do you also relate? Because I find that I have my moments where I just don't... Oh, I wanted that. I just, I'm not sure how to continue with something. You found a heart squid. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. I feel like my, my thought process isn't clearly concise. When I start recording, even if I have like conversations in mind, I find that I still struggle to get the point across or rather like really get into the jive that is walking and talking per se. The metaphorical walking and talking that is recording a game and playing at the same time, which is kind of odd when you really think about it because I feel like in my personal life, I do that plenty. Oh dear. Okay, here's what we'll do. Pike ball this. We absolutely are gonna want it for this guy. He looks kind of mean, and as we jump over him, the pike ball in theory will hit him. Let's see. Oh uh, gosh. Ooh, jump across. Hit him a few more times. We could just back him in a corner, I'm pretty sure. Hit him, keep boiling on him. At least the pike ball does some numbers on him. Nice. He's been taken care of. A chest shows up, and that has the key. Use it to open a locked door, and I know just the door I wanna use it on. I think to better clarify what I'm trying to get at here without sounding too odd is when I start recording, even if I have an idea of what I have in mind for this episode, like for example, when I was doing the first episode of Shantae, I knew I was super, I knew that I was super excited to play Shantae and I was super excited to get that started for you guys. But when I, when I did start recording it, I found that I struggled so much to get through it and I felt conflicted because I was like, oh, well, there's no denying I'm super excited to play this game again. I love Shantae and I've been super excited to play it since I since I picked up the other one. You found a heart squid. Sweet. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I need some sort of like warm up system. I usually I, I like preemptively I watch a little couple of videos just to kind of get my my mind in the right headspace per se. But otherwise, I don't know. I don't think there's any way I can actually get up to that spot over there. Unfortunately, I cannot hit this little spider thing and get onto that chest at the same time. So we'll just have to leave it where it is for now and head down instead. Like once I get into the rhythm of recording, I definitely feel like my recordings get better. But sometimes I wonder if it's pretty telling which ones. Oh, geez. I don't like that that was shaking. And that's probably why I didn't like that it was shaking. <laughs> Like, I, I often worry that sometimes you can very much tell which episodes are the first episodes of that recording session, per se. Jeez. Brutal. Well now, how am I supposed to go about getting this to work? Ah, there we go. Duck down and whack them at the same time, get the meat chocolate, and let's make our way out of here. Back up to full health. One thing I definitely like about these dungeons is that you'll always have a surplus of hearts. But also, I also find myself having a surplus of dying as well. Watch out for this. What are these things even called? This, these burning statues. Crouch our way down, following this crab. These crabs are such a great way of finding out which what, which ones are allowing you to go through passages. Oh, uh, apparently I could have crawled through here this whole time. Well, at least it's a quicker passage, but. I think I still have to go through the top route. I feel like it's kind of bad of me to say, oh, I don't know how to give commentary, but it's, it's less so that I don't know how to give commentary and more that I, I struggle to catch that rhythm fast. And I think that's just something that comes with time, at least to be assumed. In here, you attained Risky's pistol. Press the shoot button to shoot enemies and switches. This is such a handy tool. We're going to be using this a lot. And to make things even better, it doesn't have ammo, so we could probably just shoot indefinitely. Well, you okay, you don't shoot fast, so don't get too trigger happy. We'll crawl our way through, get this chest on our way out. Might as well heal up even just a little bit more. And <laughs> not watch where we're going. That's what we're going to do as well. No, 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 come back, come back. I want you here. And if we can use our pistol to shoot that switch, and bring it a little bit closer. And same deal with this one. Oh gosh. Ooh, I forgot that one's not good. Shoot that switch. That's not gonna help me. What about this one? 
there we go and we safely make our way back now all we gotta do is jump our way up and hit this switch at the same time get on the thing hit the switch one more time to the chain and safely make our way across and don't think about it, don't think about it do not go running after the money we have bigger fish to fry right now uh we can just crawl our way under we can crawl our way up but why do that when you can just take the easy route we'll hit this switch here jump up and hit this switch hit hit the switch there we go would you believe me if i told you i play fpf games in my free time well honestly not so much anymore and this is hardly anything shooter adjacent i would say this is just projectile i suppose oh gosh i haven't played a lot of first person shooter games in the more recent days if i'm being totally honest with you guys gosh darn it why did i do that anyways i'm not good at commentary <laughs> uh, i'm kidding i understand that it's just something that has to be learned over time nobody very few people rather are born with the with the inherent skill of how to do that it's it's more or less like public speaking you know at least in my eyes it's pretty close to public speaking and by all means i i am not the socialite at all like I don't I don't think I make myself out to seem like a socialite and I most certainly am not one. Oh shoot there's one right on top of me why was I not seeing that at first okay okay I only have one pike ball left but I really need it for this oh gosh this is oh uh, this is not good this is not good at all I want to not be in this corner oh gosh okay oh geez oh geez this is getting really bad the one's down okay just gotta keep going at it shoot shoot blast and shoot okay whoo that was dicier than it probably needed to be i just wasn't ready to fight two and i didn't recognize that there was two there until embarrassingly too late just was not paying attention to my surroundings in the slightest but at least we get a bit more money for our troubles this game is a lot more stingy with their money by the way i definitely feel like in the first game you could end up with so much money and not know what to do with it but with the sight of my favorite old man, I think now's a better time than any to actually end this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day or you guys or you guys have a have a great night. And I will see you next time. Bye bye now.